Nicole at Champlin Park High School had a great question about being able to set up categories in Digo ahead of time so that her students could drop bookmarks into them quickly for an assignment. This would serve the dual purpose of setting things up for the students ahead of time so they knew what they were looking for, and also to keep things organized and easily navigable once the bookmarks were created. It would be pretty great to organize things using a hierarchical tree structure or folders, but Digo doesn't do either of those things, so we'll tackle each of those objectives separately. First, I'll show you how to create a group tag dictionary so that you can predefine those categories. Second, I'll show you how to link to searches within Digo groups to sort and navigate those tags. To get started, you're going to create two groups. One to hold all the bookmarks the kids are going to make, and another with your category links. As you can see, I've already created my groups. The one called Sample Class Bookmarks will be where all the bookmarks go, and the one called Categories will hold my searches. Let's get started by creating those group tags. You can also find a quick movie on this in our Digo Tech Skills series on AtomicLearning.com. Here in my Class Bookmarks group, I'm going to do a unit on the etymology of English words, so I'd like a few starting categories. Let's just start with words with Greek roots, words with Latin roots, prefixes and suffixes. Click on the My Groups tab to see a list of the groups, and then click the Manage link next to the group name, in this case, Sample Class Bookmarks. Just under Group Settings, near the top of the page, click the Tag Dictionary. I'll click the radio button to choose a predefined list. Any tags that are more than one word need to have quotes around them, so I'll put a quote, and then type words with Greek roots, and then an end quote, and a space. I'll do the Latin root category, also enclosed in quotes. Then I'll type prefixes and suffixes. They're both single words, so no need for quotes there. Once that's all squared away, click the Add Tags button. Keep in mind, you can always come back here and add more tags or delete existing ones. At the top of the page, next to the Home button and My Groups, I can see the name of this group, Sample Class Bookmarks. So I'll click on that to jump to the Class Bookmarks group. If I click the Bookmark button, you'll see the recommended tags at the bottom. So our first task is done. We've predefined the categories we want them to use in creating the bookmarks. My instructions to the class would be to add their bookmarks to this group and use at least one of the predefined tags, or exclusively one tag depending on your organization. Note they can continue to add other tags as necessary, but the big point here is you've predefined certain categories for them to use. I've got two pages already opened. One is the Wikipedia entry for words of Greek origin, and the other is the freedictionary.com page for the word suffix. I'll quickly bookmark them by using some hyperspeed editing magic so that we've got a couple of bookmarks there. And I'll make sure to use that tag dictionary to assign our predefined categories. Now, we've got to be able to organize and sort those tags, and this is where that other group comes in. The key to this next trick is that searches for tags in Digo can themselves be bookmarked. I want to see all the entries with my Words with Greek Roots tag, so in the search box in the upper right corner, I can type Words with Greek Roots and press Enter or Return to filter the group. You can also click the name of the tag in the lower right corner to perform the same search. Notice the URL has changed to include the search term. It's unique to this group and search. I'll select and copy that link, and then click My Groups in the upper left corner of the screen. Then I'll click on my lonely, empty group called Categories. Here I'll create a new bookmark, call it Words with Greek Roots, and paste in that search URL. Once that's done, I'll see my category appear here. And now, when I click that thing, it jumps to the other group and uses that search term. 
As the kids add more bookmarks or topics with that tag, this search will return all of those results as well, so it'll continue expanding as you go, without needing to be updated. You can add the other categories to this Categories group using the same method, or even tag searches for multiple tags at once, depending on the organizational structure of your categories. While not exactly an ideal solution, we now have predefined categories and a way to quickly filter bookmarks and topics by those categories. If you have questions about individual tasks or other cool things on using Digo, check out that Tech Skills series and all the other great training at AtomicLearning.com.